Top-ranked LSU meets number two Alabama here at the Superdome Monday night for the BCS Championship. It's a rematch of their November 5th tussle in Tuscaloosa, won by the Tigers in overtime, 9-6. Alabama moved the ball in LSU's defense in that game, but ended up settling for field goals, four of which were missed. But Alabama's coach has taken the pressure off the kickers, saying negative plays in the red zone meant for lower percentage field goal tries. That is, that is the approach that we've tried to use with our players and um, certainly have confidence that they will do well in this game because they've done well you know, in other games all year long. And it will not affect our strategy in terms of how we approach what we do uh, relative to making those decisions because we are confident in those players. The game features the nation's top two defenses. While Alabama's is ranked number one, LSU has made headlines with a secondary that features two AP All-America cornerbacks in Teran Matthew and Morris Claiborne. When, when, it, when your number gets called, it's time for you to make a play. I mean, hey, you need to step up and make it. And the guys in the secondary, I mean, we've done a great job at that this year. Matthew made so many plays, he was a Heisman Trophy finalist and struck up a friendship with Alabama running back Trent Richardson, who was also up for the Heisman. You know, at the same time, you know, I think me and Trent, you know, are mature enough to know, you know, um, come Monday, you know, we're going to do the best that we can for our team to win the football game. And, um, you know, after the game, you know, we could, uh, you know, send each other text messages or so. Richardson's message to opposing defenses this season was try and tackle me, as he ran for close to 1,600 yards and scored 23 touchdowns. For this All-America running back, Monday night's kickoff can't come soon enough. I'm so impatient right now, and I'm waiting for this ball game to get here, man. I really can't wait, man. You can almost just, I can almost just feel it, man, right here, and, and just waiting for this stadium, for this dome here to get packed, and, and you know, for us to have fun on, in this game here and play this last game like we never played before. The winner takes home the coach's trophy. This matchup guarantees the BCS champion will come from the Southeastern Conference for the sixth consecutive year. If LSU loses Monday night, they could still be the AP's national champion. Of the 44 AP voters who responded to recent questions about this game, only 11 said that the winner will no doubt be their number one. Covering the BCS championship in New Orleans, John Klobuchar, Associated Press.